Okay, so uh, big studio execs, here's how we're going to do the ultimate reboot to recapture the magic of the original Star Wars franchise. We're going to go with the iconic moments, because we know that's what the fans want. We're going to do the first three movies that were made, because uh, those are essentially the trilogy that people agree was the best, Ewoks and all. Uh, however, we're going to take those iconic moments and get them a whole new spin. Allow me to show you with just some of my team taking on poses, the iconic moments. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to flip those moments and make them totally fresh and cutting edge for fans and a new generation of viewers. We've, we've done some uh, very intensive, in fact, uh, a months-long process of just getting that the perfect uh, uh, substitute items to uh, reshape these uh, scenes. And our effects department has uh, uh, spent uh, se several uh, uh, million dollars uh, making sure that, that you get the, the right idea. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, believe me, not a penny was wasted or uh, spent on uh, anything else that uh, that people have been wanting to spend uh, millions of dollars on. So, here we go. Um, all right, now, in the uh, New Hope, uh, Darth Vader and the troops capture the rebel ship. However, in our new version, Vader and the troops use a lamp to send a blinding glare into the rebels' eyes. Eh? Less violent and a good lesson to youngsters about conserving electricity. Eh? All right, now, um, in uh, the original uh, uh, New Hope, Luke and Obi-Wan watch Leia's recorded message begging for help. However, in our new virgin, version, <laughs> right, uh, Obi-Wan and Luke watch as Leia uses a pair of tongs to puppet the message, thus giving her complete deniability if the message falls into the wrong hands. Good message for everyone in terms of being careful in how your image is being used this day and age. Uh, number three. Uh, we meet Han and Chewbacca at a table in uh, Moe's Isley, or Isley, or however you, you pronounce it. <laughs> yeah. However, in our new version, we meet Han and Chewbacca struggling to fix a toaster from the Falcon's break room. Yeah, it uh, turns out they went down to this planet to get a spare part for a DIY project rather than wasting money on buying a new appliance. Uh, all right, so now uh, we've got the scene where Luke and Leia swing to escape the stormtroopers. However, in our version, Luke and Leia don't risk their lives in a loud gun battle. They simply put on slippers so that they are so quiet the stormtroopers never hear them. Non violence, folks. Yeah. Speaking of which, okay, so in the original version, uh, Obi-Wan and Vader duel it out, right? Okay. In our version, both Obi-Wan and Vader use remote controls rather than lightsabers to have a friendly video game contest with the winner getting their way. And then we've got the uh, climactic scene from episode four where Luke and the other rebels are uh, on the Death Star run to torpedo, to torpedo <laughs> the inside. Now, in our version, Luke and the Rebels use a shaken can of a carbonated beverage to short-circuit the Death Star's cannon while the workers are figuring out the problem that, and take months needed to fix it. The Death Star can't cause any more problems, and the Rebels and the forces of evil need to negotiate peaceably. All right, and then finally, in uh, the original version, Luke and Han get Medals of Valor, but in our version, Luke and Han get a hair dryer because, by golly, they've finally took showers to rinse away all that garbage chamber stink from before. See? Our version has continuity. Mm. Now we go to The Empire Strikes Back. <clears throat> Now, uh, on the battle in the ice planet Hoth, the Empire's AT-AT walkers are pulled down by ropes. However, in our version, the Rebels will use a broom because uh, those long legs, so easy to trip. Good safety lesson for kids, right? Always watch where you step. Now, uh, then we've got the uh, scene where Han Solo cuts open a bantha with a lightsaber and stuffs Luke inside for warmth. In our version, Han will use a potato peeler instead of a lightsaber. You know how it's uh, there's more than one way to skin a cat? Well, here we show there's more than one way to peel a bantha, huh? So versatile. Okay, then uh, Cloud City, Darth Vader appears unexpectedly, captures Han and Leia by blackmailing Lando. Now, in our version, Vader will just ask Alexa where Han and Leia are. Product placement is where it's at these days, am I right? Alexa, kill the rebels. Job done. Uh, Yoda trains Luke to lift rocks with his mind. Well, um, and Yoda lifts the X-Wing fighter up from the swamp. Now, in our version, we're going to use a fan. Imagine a big old fan just blowing the X-Wing out of the water. Save using the Force for important stuff. Need to, don't need to give yourself a headache, right? Okay. Um, Han Solo is frozen in the carbonite. Mm, Boo-hoo. Famous scene. But ours is even better. All because all you have to do is use a bottle of ketchup. Cover Han in delicious condiment and he'll be perfectly preserved forever. All right. Now, Luke and Vader fight with the lightsabers. We all know that bit, right? And Vader mm, cuts off Luke's right hand. Okay, now in our scene, we're going to do the responsible thing and trade out the lightsaber with 
a wiffle bat. The kids will love to swing those around and listen to the sound as these babies uh, strike each other. Hmm. All right, now, uh, number seven, at the end, Luke hangs from Cloud City's antenna and is rescued by uh, Leia and Chewie in the Millennium Falcon. However, in our version, instead of the Millennium Falcon, we're going to use a Frisbee. They can fly forever. You save a ton of CGI effects, and they play golf with these things nowadays. Isn't it the damnedest thing? All right, now, uh, we go to Return of the Jedi. Jabba the Hutt has captured Princess Leia at his feet. Now, in our version, it's going to be a bit more wholesome instead of that mm, skimpy bikini. Why don't we have her wear banana peels over her lady parts? Alluring and biodegradable. Eh? Okay, uh, then we've got uh, Luke Skywalker teetering on the edge of being eaten by the uh, Sarlacc pit monster. Now, in our version, you know how he gets out of this one? He uses a chair, a simple wooden chair. Just wedge that baby over those gnarly teeth. It's like a regular Buster Keaton gag. It'll be awesome. Okay, so the Ewoks use logs to knock down the Empire's ATTs, uh, right? Or ATATs. <laughs> um, but in our version, let's not use logs. Well, with uh, deforestation and all, let's just knock over those ATATs with a basketball. It's, it's a new sport. Learning the Death Star is fully operational, Admiral Akbar yells, It's a trap! Well, in our version, Admiral Akbar learns that their stapler is jammed and yells, It's a piece of crap! Look, uh, uh, yeah, Leia already yells, It's a trap! And Empire Strikes Back. And kids love the word crap. And if you can make him laugh, that's half the job already done. Okay, so then we've got uh, Darth Vader throwing the Emperor down the shaft to prevent the Emperor from electrocuting Luke. So instead of doing this, what we're going to do is have Darth get a bottle of water to splash the Emperor with it electricity. When you splash water on him, he short circuits. <laughs> so ironic, right? Okay. And then uh, Luke confronts, uh, uh, comforts, because <laughs> we're not doing a confronting confrontation as much anymore. Uh, Luke com comforts a dying Darth Vader, taking off his helmet. Well, uh, we're going to keep this scene, but that ugly black helmet has to go. Instead, we'll use a nice bike helmet. All the protective uh, properties, plus you can see Vader's face. Much better scene. And then we've got the uh, uh, ceremony where Luke and all the other heroes are honored and we see the four spirits of Obi-Wan, Yoda, and Anakin Skywalker. But in our version, we're going to use baseball cards instead uh, because instead of a uh, hokey hologram, Luke just looks down on his uh, Jedi baseball cards and smiles at them. It's, it's, it's so touching. It's like Field of Dreams, you know? So uh, so there you go. Uh, you know, we, we, uh, uh, you know, it was uh, just, just, just so you know, you know we're, we're the artists and so, so we know a whole lot more about... Uh, uh, the you know, what's actually going to ignite the fans uh, rather than you producers who are constantly trying to save money. So, so just trust us that, that your uh, uh, $3 million was, was perfectly well spent. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, never mind the, uh, the, the you know, w w we've got some receipts on uh, some uh, houses that were purchased um, uh, in the meantime, but uh, that's just, uh, uh, that, that was just an investment so that we could get the household products. Um, uh, so uh, thank you very much and uh, look forward to uh, doing business with you. This is exciting.